Okay, hello everybody. Hello, hello. Okay, we're gonna turn the volume down. We're gonna click on here. Let's get the volume down. Hello everybody, happy Monday. I am live a little bit earlier than normal because we have a lot to cover. Okay, I was like, hey mom. Hey, Kathy, my mom um, cannot run off five minutes after she joins and say she has to make lunch. Well, maybe, actually, it might be actually close to my grandpa's lunchtime. Hey, Kathy, we'll see. Okay, so there's several of you on here. I am a little bit earlier than normal because Mondays is the one of the only days that um, my kids go to school all not all of them Andrew and Violet go to school on Mondays and then um Kayla usually goes with Esau to go grocery shopping so I get a few hours in the house by myself and then Thursdays everybody leaves and boy do I miss the days when everybody left this house and I had a minute to think <laughs> It's been a Monday, you guys. It has been a Monday. So I thought I would take advantage of the quiet time. Um, if one of you could tell me, can you hear my washer going? My wa my laundry room is kind of right next to my office, and there's a load of laundry going. So let me know if you can hear that, and I will turn. I will shut my door if you can. So there's so much to catch up on, you guys, and um, I have a lot to share. We are going to make something creative today. We're going to make a card. We're going to make my favorite card kit for the month, um, which is something that I love doing for you guys. I put together um, a card kit, and then when you place a $35 order or more with me, you I just send that card kit out right away. Your order comes in. I already have the stamps and the envelopes. I pop it right into an envelope and it goes out that same day. And then you get an email with a thank you for your order and you get a PDF showing you the measurements of that. And then I attach this video and you get to, um, you know, you have the video and the PDF to put together your card. So that's what we're gonna make today using the, the Snail It um, from that. And we'll do that in a minute. But I have some huge things to talk to you guys about. <laughs> I'm very excited. And so the we are going to talk about this um, product right here, which some of it is in this catalog and some of it is not. So I need you guys to know about all of the stuff happening with this. But before we do that, I have a huge giveaway that I'm doing, you guys, because I am currently very, very close to a huge milestone for Stampin' Up. It is my $200,000 career in sales marker. So Stampin' Up um, does your milestones for your sales through $100,000 you know, pieces. And I am currently $4,000 away from hitting $200,000 in career sales. Now I am not a demonstrator that is trying to rush to a million. I, I don't, I really don't have any desire to sell a million dollars and design a stamp set and do all of those things. It's just not my, it's not my goal. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it just, my goal has always been to just create and share with you guys. I never started stamping up out when I joined. I never imagined that it would get to this space or it would be such a huge blessing in my life. So, um, I come up on these milestones, not in a space of rushing to get to them. I think it was about three and a half years ago, I hit my 100,000 and that was totally fine with me. And I noticed today that uh, as I was checking reports and trying to find a flyer and doing all of my normal Monday stuff, that I was so super close. And so what I'm gonna do is another fill the bag um, giveaway. And the bag I have to give away is this one right here. It is an exclusive Stampin' Up! bag. This is what we got for um, when we went to on stage. It's really gorgeous. Has this pocket in the back. It's pretty big. 
So I don't know if you guys can get a feel of how big this is on the screen. It has this stampin' up um, and the plastic cover is still on it. And then you open it up, it has this gorgeous um, liner and then it has a pocket here. And then the bottom also um, unzips so you can make it bigger. So I love that. So this is going to be the bag we're going to fill all the goodies with. I'm going to start out the process of filling the bag with a very coveted mini Stampin' Up! trimmer. So this is something that they had, I think maybe it was last year's with Celebration, you could, when you joined, you got this, and then they allowed us as demonstrators to purchase them, um, and I have several of them. I love them. I use mine all of the time, especially for memory keeping, but you guys see me use it for card making too. So the first thing that's going to go in the bag is going to be the little trimmer, and then for every order I receive... Until I hit $400,000 and, or yeah, $4,000 to hit my $200,000 career milestone, um, I will put something in the bag for every order I receive. Now, then I will do a drawing. I'm going to do the drawing live. So, and I will have several other small gifts I'm going to give away as well because I just want it to be a very exciting, I just want to celebrate with you guys. I just, it's been a hard nine, 10 months, 12 months. The last, you know, 12 months have just sucked for everybody all around. And I've certainly struggled. I've had my share of struggles and I've had my share of struggles within my Stampin' Up! business. And so I just think that it is a good time to celebrate. And so for every order, I will be putting stuff in here. I have a bundle of products, like a bundle, like a stamp set, and um, I think it's a die. I don't think it's a punch. That will go in here. I will be putting one of these in here, which is an exclusive item. It is a Stampin' Up! lunch bag. But you know what? Your mini embossing, dude... That's what I'm calling this thing. will fit in here if you wanted. I've seen demonstrators using it as a carry-on bag. I actually just use it as a bag. Um, I don't use it as a lunch bag, even though it has that lining in it. I actually just use it as a bag um, when I'm going somewhere and I need, um, you know, almost like a purse. Um, but it has a great bottom. So I will be adding one of these to the giveaway bag. So I would love to hit this by the end of the month. I don't know if that, that feels a little ambitious to me. <laughs> um, because February is a shorter month, but I would love to be sending that out in like, I would love for March for my hello March, um, post. I would love to do that live and hang out with you guys and do giveaways and kind of make it, um, a little bit of a party. So um, that's what I'm hoping for. So that is the giveaway and I will be posting more about it. I'm going to take pictures and post on it and share it with you guys. Um, but that is the giveaway. So if you can share this video, if you can like it, I will be putting this on YouTube. Um, it is open to um, anybody who places an order. So what I think I'll do is for every $50, you get an entry. So I will be, um, grabbing one of my, I'm sure I have a glass container around here. And for every $50 you order, I will put your name in the drawing. I think that will be a great way to do it. Um, and then you'll still also get the My Favorite Card Kit of the Month and all of that. All of that will be normal. Um, I just, for every $50, I will put something in the bag and you will get an entry to win. So I think it'll be fun. So let's just celebrate. Um, I think it's fun and important to just find ways to celebrate and, uh, and give back. So that is the big giveaway I'm excited about. So let's talk about a couple things happening in February before we dive into our crafty project. And thank you guys, everybody who said congratulations. Thank you so much for the 
um, congratulations and the well wishes and for your support. I cannot do this without you. Like that's just the bottom line. Can't do it without you. So I totally appreciate, um, I appreciate you guys. So let's dive in to some of the things that are happening in February. The first thing that I want to mention is that this is the last month. Is it in here? Oh, I think it's in this one. This is the last month to join Stampin' Up! and get all of the designer paper that's going to be for the color families that will be in the annual catalog that's coming up. So if you are interested in joining our stamping community, this is an amazing time to do so because you get all of that extra paper and that is so fun to have. Um out of the upcoming catalog. So I wanted to mention that it is also the very last month for celebrations, which I know is a little bit different. In the past, Stampin' Up! has had celebration in um, January, February, and March. And this year, we just have it in January and February. So all of the items in this little mini catalog um, are free when you hit a certain level. So $50 or $100, every $50, you'll get something for free. So there's the donkey stamp set, the... <laughs> you know what I'm just realizing as I'm going through this? I did not send out my free celebration items to my paper party people. <laughs> if you're watching and you're one of my paper party people and our, our party is this weekend um, and you earned celebration items, I will get those sent out to you separate. I just realized that um, there is the ombre paper. Um, here's another couple stamp sets, the flower and field designer paper. Uh, stamp set, the berry paper and stamp set. And then if your order is $300 or more, you get this free stamp set. This is the punch party um, stamp set. Um, so take advantage of all of the celebration items this month because this is it. So you guys are going to hear me talk about these a lot and share these products a lot um, because it ends at the end of February. Okay. So the next thing, if you have any questions about this, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. And then let me show you why I have the catalog out. So I want to find it. This is the, look, my catalog is totally falling apart. It's not even in the right space. I bet this is right dab in the middle. Yep. Okay, so let me find this one set. Must be back here. It's okay, we'll find it. I'm, I know it's on this side of the page. Okay, it's right here. Here is the Hey Birthday Chick product. It's a stamp set, right? Super cute. When I saw this, it totally reminded me of the stamp set we had a couple years ago in celebrations that was the chicken set. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. Totally reminds me of that. So then what Stampin' Up! did is they said, okay, here's the Hey Chick birthday stamp. Why don't we go ahead and add dyes to that? So the dyes are not in here. This is like, I don't know if it was an afterthought or a special they thought of. I don't know what the deal was, but they did not put the dies here in the catalog. So let's take a look at these. So here's the dies that go with it. Looks like it cuts this out. It cuts this out. It has a little fence. It looks like there's a die for this. Um, I'm assuming this die is for this. There's a little bow tie, a little chick, a happy birthday piece here, and then some items to like build your scene. I love the bow tie. So these dies go with this. So this is now a bundle and I'm going to tell you guys what these 
Um, for some reason, I lost my flyer. So I'm going to go over to the Stamp It Up website here, and I'm going to tell you what these, the prices for these, and also the item number. So in case you're like, hey, I totally want to get these in the bundle, um, you'll have the information. So the Hey Chick Bundle, uh, let's see. Here we go. Hey, birthday chick bundle, which is this right here. This stamp set, this die, okay? The item number is gonna be 158631. This is for the bundle where you will save 10% getting these together. The cost of both of these is gonna be $43, okay? So that's the bundle. And it's the stamp set and the die, okay? Then what Stampin' Up! did is they brought back Hey Chick. So you may have this stamp set in your collection if you got it for free when it was offered during celebrations either last year or the year before, okay? So if you didn't, if you didn't get that item for free, you can purchase this. It's $17 for just the stamp set. But then what Stampin' Up! did is they added another set of dies. So this is where I want to be really clear. You may just need the dies because you might already have this stamp set from a couple years ago. So you might just need the dies. The dies for this are going to be $32 and the dies, the item number is going to be 158199 for just the dies. Now these dies are so fun. They have several things. They have the images to cut out your little guys here. And here, so there's a die for each of these. This sign here will fit any of these sentiments. Okay, the sign. So you can cut the sign out and stamp the sentiments in here. And then it has this here. It has the, like, chicken wire. This is the, like, tree stump. The corn and then the corn pieces. Um, they have lots of those, so if you want to cut multiples of those out, that's nice. It has this little seeds. These are tiny, you guys. I don't even know. I don't know if I would attempt to cut those out, but they're there. They're so tiny. But there's tons of dies in here, and I love that they've done, like, these two together. So if you want multiple eggs, you don't have to cut, like, you can cut two at a time, which is nice. The bundle for this, so this is the Hey Chick bundle. The item number is going to be 158627, and the bundle for this is going to be $44. Okay, so the this is not in the catalog, and these dies are not in the catalog. The only thing that's in the catalog is this. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know, because I feel like this is slightly confusing with nothing, with a lot of these items not being in the catalog. So if you have any questions, let me know. I will be doing a, a blog post about this and sharing about it and using this to show you guys. Um, I will also have some exclusive, um, an exclusive PDF that will go out to anybody who signed up to get my email. Um, that will be their exclusive this month is this stuff here. Um, and that will be going out. Okay. So again, if you have any questions about this, I know with it not being in the catalog, it's going to be a little bit confusing. So that is the Hey Chick bundle. And let me just catch up on comments. Uh, hey, Carol from Snowy, uh, Connecticut. Is that what I see? I know you guys are getting blasted with snow back east. I just was texting a friend who lives in Pennsylvania. And I was like wishing it was snowing here and wishing... Uh, that we were having a snow day. We are not. Okay, so today what we're going to create 
is our My Favorite Card Kit for the month. And this month we are using all of the snail mail, snail it, all of that stuff. So let's look at that in the catalog. It's right one page over. It's all of these beautiful items. When you get this card kit in the mail, you will also get access to a um, PDF tutorial that will feature 12 projects from this suite. This is our suite that we are focusing on in February, and I am part of the Simply Sweet Stampers um, bundle tutorial, and so you will get 12 projects um, that will feature these beautiful products right here. <coughs> so here's the stamp set. And let's take a look at the paper. Carol, um, I know that is sad. I have to tell you guys a quick story. Uh, not story, but a quick, I guess, where we're at in life. Last Monday, um, where we live, our school district is spread out. There's some schools that are really high in elevation. And um, then there's our school, which is probably... Uh, probably the lowest, I guess, elevation, I'm going to assume. I don't technically know. But because our school district is really spread out and is really different with, like, the elevation, um, like, literally, I can drive 15 minutes and be in snow. And it can, like, not be snowing here at my house. And I can drive 15 minutes kind of in any either any direction, uh, in three directions and hit snow. Um so last Monday, we kind of had a snow day. They called it for bad weather. And they were like, okay, all the kids have to go to remote, remote learning. And I said, uh, no, we don't. And I did not make my kids do remote learning because I was like, it's a snow day. On snow days, you don't have to do school. Like, but I'm not doing that because we do distant learning. Well, none of my kids are doing distant learning. That's been my... If they want them in the classroom, if they want to be teaching them, then they need to be in the classroom. Otherwise, we don't do distant learning. So it was funny because I was like, yep, snow day. We're having a snow day today. And so my kids didn't do anything last Monday. It's too stressful on my kids to do distant um, learning on the computer. So we don't do it anymore. So here's the paper. And these dies, I love these dies. These dies are going to cut out some of these images that you're going to see on your paper. And then there's some really cute items. There's this envelope die. And maybe we'll make that just to see how it works. And then there's these mushroom dies and these heart dies. And then this die here, you're going to see I'm using it. And I love this one. And you'll get this in your kit. So here's the paper. So cute, right? It's probably my favorite paper in this catalog. Okay, so we have the paper. Hi, Linda. Oh, no, Linda. I'm so sorry. I am glad you're feeling better. Oh, good, you got your paper party pack this morning. Linda, I think you might be one that's missing your celebration items from your party pack. So, and actually, I, you, I think you emailed me your two picks, but I don't think they came through. Uh, the email I got from you was weird. So if you can email me the two, um, and they have to be stamp sets. I can't do paper. I can't ship paper. Um, but let me know so that I can get those to you. So here's the stamp set. I'm going to be using red. I've been using real red a ton recently. Like... I usually prefer cherry cobbler over real red, and I've been using real red a ton. So the only thing we're using out of the stamp set is we're going to use Hello, and that is because if you guys don't have this stamp set and you get your card kit, I want you to be able to put your card kit together without having to have the stamp set. So I always pick just a sentiment, and you guys can swap those out. But I want to show you guys a little trick here. Let me pull all these out. I haven't even put these together yet. 
I got a small order last week of about three stamp sets and I just didn't put them together yet. So what I do to put mine together, I wanted to share this with you guys. I always try to share tips and tricks with you. When I'm putting together my stamps, these red rubber ones, this part of the stamp is very sticky. And what can happen is when you put your stamp on a block, if you don't prep it, like I'm going to show you, sometimes they can be very difficult to peel off the block because this is very, very strong adhesive on this. And I have actually ruined one of my stamps by trying to pull it off. And then I ripped this, this cling foam. I ripped it. And also, if this stickiness that goes on your thing like this if the if you are not super careful when you're placing this on here and it gets stuck on here and you have to pull it off it will completely ruin your cling foam so let me show you what I do I just do a quick trim around my image So that more of the cling foam can attach to the block. And then that also helps me when I'm putting my sticker on the actual stamp. It helps me to line it up better and I have less mistakes. So I don't do a perfect job. I just trim as close to the image as I can so you can see just a little bit of it and then when you put your sticker on so it might be tempting to pull this hole back off and just try to line it up and stick it but I'm telling you if you accidentally touch this with the sticker part it's just going to be a nightmare so what I do is I peel off half of it And then I line up the part that's not sticky. I'm so nervous to do this on camera. I feel like I'm going to mess up. Ugh, see? So it's kind of easier when you're not explaining it. However, so I line that up and then let that sticker press down. Then the other thing you don't want to do is get this part stuck to this part because it'll ruin it again. So I press my finger on there and sort of stick that sticker to the to my nail peel off the next part and then let that part fall down and then this way when you stick your stamp to your clear block it's going to peel off a lot easier because the entire surface is not the sticky part so this sticky part is so sticky, you guys. So this way you have more of the cling and it will release easier, but it doesn't fall off. Okay, perfect, Linda. I'll, I'll set that aside. Okay. So I wanted to share, show that to you guys um, because I hadn't prepped these yet. And then I just pressed mine um, to my stamp here. So the only thing we're using out of the stamp today, like I said, is the sentiment. So let's put this together. The first thing we're going to start out with is some basic white cardstock and then some pool party cardstock. And then let me grab my embossing folder that I used. Here is the embossing folder that I'm using today. This is a really beautiful one. And it looks like this when you emboss your paper.
And if your paper has a white core, meaning if the inside of your paper is white, when you use this embossing folder, these dots will turn up white. Now I made something over the weekend. Oh, I remember what it is. You guys will see it tomorrow. And the paper was white core in the middle and all the dots were white and it was so cool um, it gave such a cool effect. So that's something to keep in mind. It is a pretty, like, thick embossing folder. But I love it. So we have our card base here. And it's white. It's basic white. And then we're just going to add our pool party piece um, over it. Now, because this is raised so much, you could take... one of our brand new blending brushes. These are incredible, you guys. I have never been into blending and I've never been into like getting all the tools to blend, but I wanted to see what these were like. I wanted to, um, oftentimes, even if I don't necessarily love a product, I'll want to get it in case I have a customer who asks me about it. These are incredible, you guys. These are incredible. Okay, got to give my mom a hard time because now it's she needs to charge her phone. She cracks me up. Okay, so let's try these. So I'm going to use Pool Party. And the idea is that you dip them in your ink okay and then you blend with them and i have to tell you i've never liked the feel of blending with like sponges or i don't like the like the sound it makes on cardstock the feel of it these are really incredible I didn't expect a brush to feel like this. And it does blend pretty evenly. Like the brush is, I don't know, it's like an, an incredible feeling. And I like the control I have better. Than with other like blending things, blending tools, I guess. I really like this. And I feel like it picks up the right amount of ink to blend. So I think it takes a little bit to get used to but I think once you get used to it, I also think this is easier to hold. Like it fits there. I like that it's a large piece here and then it gets thin. And then this is a pretty large surface because I feel like when I'm holding it, it feels really like natural to hold it. So I really like that. Okay, so these are pretty awesome. Okay, so that is, I think I got a little bit more over here, but that's okay. When you're first getting used to a new tool, it can be a little difficult. But overall, I think I like it. I'm going to use them a little bit more in my crafting and just see. For somebody who doesn't blend a whole lot, I don't know that it makes a lot of sense for me to have a bunch of them. But I do really like them much more than I thought I would. You know, this, it didn't soak up a lot of ink. If I pressed into it, it would. But I think that this actually, in, the, in what I just did, now I don't know about any other blending brushes. I don't have any to compare to. But in what I just did, this hardly soaked up any ink. 
with my sponges, I feel like I have to really push into the ink to really get, um, to really get it on the surface to transfer it. But I, and I feel like it transferred quite a bit of it. So again, I don't know, this is really the first time I'm using blending brushes, but I don't know. From what I just did, it didn't seem like it it picked up a lot. But like I said, I've not used any other blending brushes. I have a weird thing about blending. I don't like watching people do it. It like it's like nails on a chalkboard. You know when you get that feeling like, oh, like that's always how I feel when I when I'm watching people. So I don't even know that much about blending, I have to say. But I thought I'd try them out. I think I think it's worth trying, maybe a little bit. So the next thing I have is the the die cut here. So you'll get this piece in your kit. And I love it. It's such a great size. The next thing I did is cut out um, one of the pieces of designer paper to go in the middle of this. And any design would work. I liked the pop of yellow here. And I didn't measure perfectly, so it's off a tiny bit, but I don't think anybody's going to notice, really. So the next thing we're going to do is put this here and then we have our little guys and I want to add them here and here. And then I stamped my hello and I want to add that to this. So I want to pop this up. I think that some fun foam is going to be the best way to go with this. And I think I have two pieces that will work perfectly. I'm going to use liquid glue so that it, because this is pretty raised. So um, I want liquid glue for both sides of these. I just think it's gonna be easier. I think it'll stick more. So let's add that. I don't know if I'm on camera here. I'm just gluing these down. And then let's add a little bit of glue here. And then we'll add it to the corner. Now I just fussy cut these and when you get these in your kit, um, they'll just be like a circle cut out and then you'll finish fussy cutting them. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and not have this little guy popped up. He'll go here. And then let's add some dimensionals to one side of this. And of course, I'm gonna pop, uh, of course I'm gonna use Wink Estella. And maybe some googly eyes. I don't know, should we do googly eyes on this one? So then let's add a little bit of adhesive there. I feel like that it needs a little it needs a little weight to it while it adheres. So we'll do that. These blending brushes come in three. So you get three of them. I think I'll get maybe like two more sets and throw them down in my coloring drawer to have. I don't think I need one for each color. I think, um, I think maybe having one for like blues, ones for greens, like I think maybe that might be best. Okay, now let's add our little flag. 
Okay, so this month when you order $35 or more, you will get this card kit. Oh, it's not. It needs some more weight. And I will emboss that for you so you can see this embossing folder. You'll get all the pieces to put together and then you'll just need a sentiment. And the sentiment I'm using is from Snailed It, which is super cute. So we'll put these together in a minute. And then let's add our Wink of Stella. Okay. Hey, Sandy. Okay, so I think I'm going to just keep this pressed down. And then we'll add Wink of Stella to the circles. I think this is a newer Wink of Stella. It has a lot of glitter. That's always nice. Like so. And then you guys know I have to add some bling, but the question is, what do I add? So I have these, or I do have these. So let's maybe figure out what we're gonna add. And then, I really think it needs little googly eyes. I think this really makes it. And then we need a couple larger ones. These are yellow, they've turned yellow. I think I told you guys that the last time I used these, that my little googly eyes had turned yellow, some of them. Some of them aren't as bad. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I just can't even. I feel like that one is really yellow too. Okay, so let's add that and then we'll add a little bit of bling. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> okay, so then we'll need the liquid glue. Okay, and then which little rhinestone situation should we use for the bling? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute. So the red hearts would be cute because there's red heart right there. But these would also be really cute. These clear. I think I'm gonna use the clear ones. And these are sort of textured, so they pick up really well the color that's underneath them. These are cute. So, so cute. Okay, so what do you guys think? I love it. So this is the My Favorite Card Kit for the month. I love it. Lots you could do with this. You could do this as a this type of card. You could just adjust the things, the images. You could just use one instead of using that one as well. Lots, lots that you could do. I love this. Cute card, I think. So I think that wraps up Hello February. I will have a blog post that will coordinate with all of this and it will show all of the things that are going on. If you missed it in the very beginning, I am very close to my 
$200,000 career milestone. So I'm doing a fill the bag. You guys, I think, really like it when I do these. The bag that you will get is this exclusive Stampin' Up! bag. The very first product that's going in the bag is a mini trimmer. And for every $50 that you spend with me this month, um, you will get entered, well, until I hit until I hit the hundred, the $200,000 mark. So, um, I don't know if this will go longer, um, or not, but as we'll just see. So the first product that's going in here is this. And then I will also at some point this month, add one of these, which is a Stampin' Up lunch pail, but you don't have to use it as a lunch pail. I don't use mine as a lunch pail. I use it just as a bag. Um, and for every $50, I will add a new product. And I always share it with you guys when I fill the bag. I will also um, post photos and um, you will see that. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And um, crafting with me and checking out this month's My Favorite Card Kit. Um, you'll get this. When you spend $35 with me, you'll get a card kit that will look like this you can put together. So I will be back on Friday on YouTube for a live on YouTube. And then I have posts for you guys this week. Lots of projects to share with you guys and lots of fun things happening. And then on Saturday, I will be back to sharing spaces in my craft room. Um, so this Saturday, look for that organizational video that will pick up um, on the spaces here in my office that I haven't yet showed you guys. So I hope you guys have a great week. And thanks, Linda, so much. I appreciate your order. I appreciate everybody's order. Just, you know, just so you guys know, I appreciate all of them. But thank you, Linda, for letting me know. Um, you are welcome, Sandy. I love this set, too. So thanks, guys. I hope you have a wonderful Monday and a great week. And I will be catching you guys in all the places here on Facebook, over on YouTube, on my website. And we will get crafty this week. Have a great day, you guys. Stay safe if you're back in uh, back east where you are getting hammered with snow. Um, just stay in and get crafty and share with me what you're making. Have a great day, you guys.